Incontriamo oggi lo chef Ulla Andersson a Gothenburg in Svezia. Passo la parola all'amico Matt Svensson che lo intervisterà nella sua lingua passando poi in traduzione francese. Grazie. Ok, Ulla. Uh, we take it in English. Uh, uh, can you tell us a little about uh, how how you came to to work with this profession and what your road has been? Uh, as I started to work, work uh, very early as a commie, uh, and that was because of my father. He's a carpenter, so he uh, may uh, had uh, all the re renovation in the local. Uh, Uh, ho hotel. So I was running there already when I was thir 12, 13. So I started running and peeking in, 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 into the kitchen and then I started as, as a commie, peeling the onions and taking care of the pot dish and uh, then I started to work there every every weekend and every uh, and then I started working a little bit after school and uh, Then I started, uh, uh, so that's that's my way in 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 into it, and then I can, uh, and then I, I have my uh, grand grandmothers. So they're very skilled chefs, home chefs. So we I started, uh, we had they had all the, their own pigs and uh, their own uh, small farming and so. You're from the, the south of Sweden. Yeah, from yeah. From, from, from the south of Sweden. So. Uh, Skåne. Yeah, from Skåne. So mm -hmm. that that was my. In, in in introduction to, to food, you can say uh, I always had a very strong in, in interest in, in food and farming. Mm. So, uh, and, and then was, uh, from the beginning I wasn't supposed to be a chef. Well, I'm going to be a naval of, of officer at the beginning. But then I, when I was in the, let's say, 18, 19, Something I shit I'm I'm good at this so I'm I'm, I'm starting to grow with long hair and <laughs> the little left left navy outside and just starting to to cook. Mm -hmm. uh, where did you start your, your professional career? Uh, as a, as a it, it's, a, it's a small place called Aarhus Yestis, and then I moved in Aarhus. In Aarhus, yes, and, mm -hmm. and then I moved on to. Uh, Scanner yes this. Oh that's yeah that, that's quite a really fine a really, kitchen. really 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 fine kitchen with a very mean German chef. Mm -hmm. uh, and then from there and then I went to Savoy in Malmo. Oh wow. I didn't know. Yeah. You've been in Savoy, yeah. that's a great place. Uh, yeah, it, 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 great it, it, tradition. It, yeah, great tra 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 tradition in that time and then from Savoy I moved to Norway. That's my first uh, executive job. I was just young, 23, 24 or something. Mm -hmm. And from Norway I moved to Stockholm. And I started working at the uh, Grand Hotel. Oh, yes. uh, Grand Spanska mm -hmm. for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. Then at uh, some other quite hip restaurants. Huh? Who was in, in charge of, uh, of the kitchen in, in Grand Hotel at, uh, at that Ro time? Roland Persson. That's Roland Persson? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a well-known figure in, uh, in the Swedish and kitchen. And in, in, in the same time I started with the, the competition bit, with the chef, chef of the year. So mm -hmm. I was in four finals in Chef of the Year, and then I uh, came into the culinary team. Mm -hmm. So I traveled all over the world and compete. And, uh, for the Swedish uh, team, for for the Swedish nat nat natural team, and there was some Nordic championships and everything like that. So I com was in a competition business for about uh, what can I say from nine from eighty nine to ninety seven something like that. When I stopped competing, mm. uh, that's it. And then I moved to Gothenburg. Why did you move to Gothenburg? Uh, it was uh, my wife. She she she's from from Gothenburg, and yeah. we was expecting our second child. Oh yes. And uh, we have no re relatives in Stockholm and everything. And I was always working or competing and traveling a lot. So it was now we're going to move to Gothenburg. 
So she, she, so she could have, have a little bit more help with the kids. Mm -hmm. So now I'm here. Well, here in Gothenburg, I worked in uh, SAS Radisson. Yeah. Uh, and Uspela. Mm -hmm. I worked with Uspela a lot. Mm -hmm. And then I was sick of the. Uh, Sick of the business, so I start to study economics and uh, so on, and start uh, with the. Uh, that's important. Yeah. Yep. Then, uh, uh, then I started to work with the vegetables for a couple of years, mm. and then I was back in the spell again, yeah. and, 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 and now I'm I'm here. So I've been here for four for four years. Yeah. During uh, Ola's time in uh, uh, with uh, Pelle Danielsson at with Pelle, I had uh, the pleasure of of eating uh, the food that he cooked mm. there yeah. for for several several years. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a fine time in in in, in my history too. Yeah. Uh, that's a, a link between us. Uh -huh. yeah. With the national team, I traveled a lot, and then I. Been working a little bit in Mexico as a consult, build, building and starting restaurants, and I've been to Tokyo mm -hmm. for a uh, yeah, guest place and Holland and a little bit of ev everything. Mm -hmm. That's that. Uh, how do you work today? What is your point of view on the on on, on your work? Uh, What's my, important? Uh, my role here is, it's a big hotel and I have a lot of chefs, mm. uh, so my uh, role is quite like a classic executive chef, a lot of economics, a lot of planning, a lot of cost costing works, not so much uh, cooking. Not so much cooking. I, I cook ev every day, but I don't have my own station and, and, and anymore. I work so where I need it the most. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's more my role to to today and I have around uh, 25 chefs under me. Mm -hmm. It's a big hotel. It's yeah it's it's a big hotel, a big business. Mm -hmm. We have three uh, I'm cooking for for three for three three restaurants, food uh, three 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 restaurants you can say. We have the function, it's quite big. Mm. It's bang all, 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 all the banquets. We have a restaurant here, and then we cook uh, for the uh, cabaret Lor 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 Oh yes, mm -hmm. also for that. Yeah, all, also for that. So it's quite busy. Uh -huh. um. What do you think about uh, Swedish cooking? Swiss, 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 Swedish cook cooking is one of the best in, in the world. Uh, of course, because we have a fantastic... Uh, uh, raw materials. Yeah, raw, raw, raw materials. And then uh, and a lot of fantastic chefs. Yeah. Uh, they, they are so wide in, 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 in their skills because we have so high taxes, it's very, uh, it's very costful to, to hire people. Mm -hmm. so, you have to, so you have to be able to work and you have to have uh, a, a wide skill. Because in a, may, may say maybe a, in a French uh, restaurant you have to be four or five people and commies and so on and so on. Here you in the same type of restaurant you work too. That's the big uh, big difference. Mm -hmm. like so, uh, and uh, we have one uh, very good chef in Sweden, I think. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, there is. Yeah, so, there is. So, and so. Uh, if, if, even if we limit ourselves to, to, to Gothenburg, yeah. it's, uh, it's an enormous uh, Movement yeah, of, uh, of, sh of chefs yeah. uh, since the last, as, as long as I've been living here, that's the beginning of the 70s. Yeah. I've seen, um, and I think that uh, Leif Mannerström was uh, an important name. Yeah, he's, you've been uh, working with Yeah, we're uh, not working with just some projects. Some and, projects. Uh, yeah. And uh, I've helped him with uh, some books. Yeah. 
help them to write two books. Yeah. It's uh, Husman's yeah. Const and uh, the, the other one about, about the herring. Herring. Yeah. Mm. With life, and then I wrote one. Uh, I've been helping people, so I think I've been, pub been publishing six cookbooks. Mm. All together. All together, yes. Mm. And that's my when the, that with Husman's cost or the rustic kitchen. That's my thing. Mm. I'm so tired of uh, the fine dining. Wow. Uh, I, I don't like it. I've done that to uh, so too 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 much. I like you know whole animals and uh, nice real nice traditional uh, food. No. The rustic kit kitchen. It's, yeah. it's more. It's it's my thing. See, seasonal rustic cooking. That's what mm -hmm. I'm best at. And uh, yeah, There's a lot of love, love and feeling in it. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's uh, it's an it's an it's a success. Yeah, uh, it's this success. kind of kitchen. Yeah, it's a success. from Sweden. Yeah, from Sweden. Also yeah. internationally. Yeah, I, 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 I think so, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think so. Uh, so uh, and, and, and you have, what you can call it, the new Nordic no, no, kitchen. Yeah. Oh, it's very, very good. Mm. And then, then you get some influences from, from, from other countries yeah. and so on. And yeah. And, and and I have a quite in in in, in international uh, bri, 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 brigade here. Yeah. So I see that yeah. when I come to a kitchen yeah. that, that the staff is is international yeah. really. So you can oh can can you make that one? Uh, can't you make this? Um, and and that's fun. Mm. But uh, the basis in my cooking, the basis the vegetables. Vegetables. Yeah, yeah. The, the base is the vegetables. Mm. So it's maybe some root celery, wheat, and uh, some now we're in a big mushroom period, period and all the root vegetables and uh, cabbage and kale. Mm. And then you put the, uh, the protein comes as a second. Mm. I think, uh, so, uh, okay. Mm. Ok, eh. e il, mi avevano promesso un'intervista in svedese con traduzione in francese, senza il francese io ho capito molto poco, anche se qua e là ho capito qualcosa. Per favore io. Ok, ok. E grazie a Ulla Anderson, grazie a Matt Svensson, grazie all'Hotel Palace, a Venue Palace. E, e può darsi anche a una prossima visita a Gothenburg. Grazie a tutti. Okay.